Hi guys, sorry for the constant updates, but I've just had another connection um, in what's happening today with Hurricane Florence. Um, the house, the N that we theorized and the Y that we theorized, I've actually changed my mind on that. It's two different things. It's an N and a C, North Carolina. Let's look at it that way. And then the M is still an M, which is attached to the house. And on the other side, just behind Bush's head, we've got the flame that represents number three. And we've got this flame up here that's saying one. So that's 13, North Carolina, and M, which I believe connected to the house is for Massachusetts. Explosions and fires rocked nearly 40 homes and businesses in three Massachusetts towns on Thursday, leaving at least six people injured, including two in critical condition. The incidents may have resulted from an issue with gas service. Explosions set structures on fire across dozens of blocks and forced evacuations in Lawrence, Andover and North Andover. Massachusetts State Police said not all gas has been shut off Thursday evening and some of the lines were overpressurized. Um, as part of this situation, they've shut off the electricity in uh, these towns in Massachusetts. Um, at the same time, we were expecting some sort of earthquake event with Hurricane Florence and that may still occur because we have reports published on the 13th again among the rumbling of cars, trucks and various other vehicles making their way across South Carolina today to avoid the wrath of Hurricane Florence, there was another rumble that you may not have heard, an earthquake. An earthquake measuring at about 2.6 on the Richter scale, not enough to feel, um, but did happen. And that could be a precursor, obviously, for something bigger coming. Smaller movement taking place at first and then something bigger. It may not happen, but it's something that has been part of the theories that we've been discussing um, and appears that it may actually occur um, accompanied with the fires and the houses exploding in flame connected to Massachusetts which is uh, obviously started um, on the 13th I think that is a connection right there um, Hurricane Florence is happening the kind of storm surge issues happening the hurricanes happening the house exploding into flames is happening these events are yet to come. The submarine um, attack, which I believe is connected to the tsunami, which in my interpretations comes on the 15th um, and some sort of missile. I mean, I can I can see the number 13 in here, but obviously the 13th has passed from me, but it's still um, the 13th over in the United States. So still a very high watch on the 13th and maybe something connected to a missile launch of some kind that's what it looks like here um again today also seven seven uh, that's been connected with the uh, blackout electricity type scenario um and that is obviously something that is also happening um at this moment in time let me quickly bring up something i found recently which is a power outage map for the UK so you can see the one in red we have a major power outage here uh, a minor outage event up here and um, so I'll keep an eye on this map to see if any of the other east coast states start um, showing major outages or minor outages if you actually click on the states it gives you a breakdown by a power company of the, the people that have been affected so looks like according to this uh, map or chart people with a uh, Carteret, Craven, Electric, Coop, they'd be experiencing quite a few electric uh, issues. Duke Energy is also another one, and obviously that may connect with the Duke power plant, I'm not exactly sure, um, but obviously sharing a similar name. Uh, Jones Onslow, 8,000 customers affected so far. Uh, Tideland EMC, 6,818, sorry, 6,898 customers affected so far, so um, this list is constantly updating, as you can see from the dates and times reflected on the side here. The latest outages being produced at the top. So I'll keep an eye on this list and see if um, it increases drastically. Um, but so far, you guys, it does look like there are major connections to this video that have occurred just in the last 48, 72 hours. Along with everything else we've got to watch out for. I'm constantly keeping an eye on things and they do appear to be connecting to various different parts of this video from ripped flags to hurricanes moving in 
to houses exploding on the 13th or houses erupting in flames on the 13th with an M next to it, possibly connected to Massachusetts, a possible connection to North Carolina, and at the same time still a connection to New York. I'm not discounting New York at all because it's uh, heavily emphasized in this video, um, as well as Florida as well being emphasized in this video. So we've got some more watching and waiting to do, but so far, you guys, this is, I can almost say definitely the time period that we've been watching and waiting for. Obviously, with the tsunami type event, that's going to be a major watch. Um, as I said, looks like that comes in around the 15th, which is tomorrow uh, for me, uh, two days away for you guys. So um, with all that said, have a good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and may the Heavenly Father bless you. Dozens of homes exploding and bursting into flame. In Massachusetts, this started late this afternoon and it continues into tonight. These appear to be gas explosions. Massachusetts State Police, just after 6 p.m. Eastern tonight, put out an urgent warning on Twitter. Not the kind of warning anybody ever wants to see from their state police. Quote, residents in the affected towns of Lawrence, North Andover, and Andover, who have gas service from Columbia Gas, should evacuate their homes immediately if they have not already done so. Massachusetts State Police initially listed 39 homes to which firefighters had responded, homes either exploding or catching fire. The State Police, by 7.30 tonight, they'd upped that number to 70 homes. They also announced that all electric power was shut down to the affected towns. They just shut down all electricity to these towns, not because the electricity was itself the problem, but they wanted to try to lessen the risk of further gas explosions by lessening electric power things that might cause sparks, I guess. Um, we are not sure what started this off. The Boston Globe says tonight that Columbia Gas had announced earlier today that they were going to start, quote, upgrading natural gas lines in neighborhoods across the state. Um, those upgrades, those planned upgrades, included this part of Massachusetts. That said, the company had said the work wouldn't start until next week, so we're not sure if that's it. The company now says they're investigating. Whatever caused this, dozens of homes have burst into flames all over the towns of Andover, North Andover, and Lawrence, Massachusetts tonight. Um, in terms of getting your bearings, these are all towns that, that are more or less due north of Boston, close to the state line with New Hampshire. We will let you know more as we learn more. That story is still unfolding tonight, including now the chaos, not just by these explosions and fires in dozens of buildings, but also by the sudden mandatory evacuation orders affecting tens of thousands of people on zero notice. WBUR reported earlier this evening that all the off-ramps from Interstate 495 in that region were shut down, so you couldn't get off the highway into those neighborhoods, but all the on-ramps from those neighborhoods were open to allow people to get the heck out of those communities by getting onto the highway. Again, um, this is a developing story. We will let you know more as we learn more over the course of this evening. That will be the same as me. I will keep updating and let you guys know but right now the east coast is in for serious serious troubles and issues that are going on that are spanning from the north of the northeast and will most likely flow right down to the southeast um you guys be careful um if you feel you need to evacuate just do so um otherwise just be careful be watchful and keep your eyes on what's going on around you um, and make sure that you are keeping Jesus close to you, regardless of what happens. So, again, just want to end that with good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and may the Heavenly Father bless you.